Hi and welcome back to my shop. Today's project is this saloon bird feeder. It's made from untreated fence boards and it has some bar stools across the front. It has a bar with some bottles of beer made out of wood and the top also flips up and there's plexiglass here and that's where you put the bird seed. So let's get started. The bird feeder doesn't have to be that accurate so I've going to use my uh, Black & Decker Firestorm circular saw that's cordless to make the cuts. First I'm going to square off the end that's dog-eared. The back is going to be made up of two pieces that are 18 inches long. Now I need two pieces that are 11 inches long for the top and the bottom. Now that I have a smaller piece to work with, I'm moving over to the table saw to cut the bar top. And it's going to be 10 inches long by 4 inches wide. For the sides, I'm going to rip this board down to two two inch wide pieces. I'm going to cut the sides to about 13 and a half inches tall. Um, but I want the top of the bird feeder to have a slight 10 degree angle. I've raised the blade so that I can cut them both at the same time. Alright, the bird feeder is starting to take shape and one thing I noticed is that the piece for the bar top is a little bit wide but now that I look at it, I think I want to shave off about a, a half inch of that uh, to create a reveal uh, along the sides here. Alright, cutting this bar top piece down to about nine and a half inches really improved the look of the bird feeder because um, now the side is pushed in and it gives it a quarter inch reveal all the way down the side. To add a little western flair across the top, I'm just going to take a circular object like this roll of tape and use it to uh, draw some curves and cut the corners off. I bought some 8 inch clear plexiglass that I'm going to use to put in this section here to hold the bird seed in. So what I need to do is cut a couple 8 inch uh, grooves down these two side pieces to slide the plexiglass into. And I'm just going to do that on my table saw because my table saw blade uh, will cut an exact 8 inch groove. I only need the groove to go about 6 inches into the board. I'm going to make a mark on my table saw table right here so I'll know when to stop. I've adjusted my fence so that the groove will cut about a quarter inch into the side piece. And I'm going to turn the saw on, make the cut, and then stop at my mark and turn the saw off. Here you can see the groove I just cut with the table saw and what's going to happen is I'll be able to flip the top up like this and slide the plexiglass down into the grooves that are on each side. I've decided to use some 3 quarter inch dowel for the bar stools so I'm going to cut three pieces. I'm going to drill 3 quarter inch holes into the seats and the bottom to accept the 3 quarter inch dowels. I'm 
gluing together the two boards that make up the back. <laughs> Got all the parts sanded so now for the back I have printed out the word saloon since this is a saloon bird feeder and I'm going to trim out these letters and make a stencil so that I can spray paint saloon across the top of the back It's getting dark out here, but listen to all the birds. I guess they can't wait for the saloon to open. <laughs> I'm ready to assemble the bird feeder, and I'm going to use some Type Bond 2 wood glue, uh, which says it's water resistant. I uh, hear you should use Type Bond 3 for outdoor use, but uh, this should be good enough, and besides, I have it on hand. I'm also going to use some Prime Guard exterior screws. These are one and a quarter inch. And before I put screws in, I'm going to pre drill and also use a countersink for the screw heads. I painted the dowels for the bar stools black, except for the ends where they're going to get glued in. So let's glue them up. Since I cut the seats from a single board, I can line them up so that the wood grain matches all the way across. It's just a little detail that uh, only a woodworker would probably notice. Because the top of the sides are cut at 10 degrees, I cut a 10 degree bevel along the back side of the top so it will fit snugly against the back. I'm going to take this piece of plexiglass and mark it and cut it to fit inside the grooves so that it will hold in the bird seat. One more thing I need to do is so that the bird seat will come out onto the bar top, I need to raise up the plexiglass a little bit. So I'm just going to glue in some wood spacers on each side. I'm going to use some different colors of scrap to cut out some bottles to go on the bar. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a bird feeder where I would hang out. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also visit me over on Facebook and visit my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you and I'll see you later. Let's see if we can get some birds over here. Tweet!